Unfortunately, I've been eating like shit the last couple of days. I've had McDonald's for breakfast, Taco Bell for lunch, uh, some other shit, only because like I'm at my house, which is being repaired. And since it's being repaired, I don't have my kitchen. You know, they're putting a new flooring, they're putting the, the, the side thing that goes on the, on the side right now. They should be done today, probably in like the next two hours or so. Like I've been here from like 8 a.m. to like 8 a.m. or 8 p.m. the last two days. And also, I haven't worked out this whole week. I think I trained Monday and that was it. So I was reading this chapter earlier today. And it was all about Sir Ernest Henry Shackleton on how he's such a great narcissist. Like a good one, not a bad one. Which is crazy because being a good narcissist is something we can all learn to be. But before I get into that, I'm gonna do this next set. And honestly, yeah, I do. I really do mean that we can learn from Shackleton on being a healthy, good narcissist. I could have 100% done two more reps, but I'm conserving my energy for the next four sets because I'm going heavier uh, just by 10 pounds. So it's not gonna make like a huge difference, but it is gonna make a huge difference. So that was 10 reps. And now we're going up to 80s. And the most that I've ever done with the 80s is five reps. So it, I just gotta beat that. So yeah, before we could talk about Shackleton and being a good narcissistic narcissist, we have to talk about the bad ones and narcissism gets better up because of people. Um, it's just a way to describe people and how they decide to use your skills. Well, that's up to them. A majority of people decide to use them in a negative way. One, two, three. Oh man, that's heavy. That is extremely heavy. Bad narcissists are the people that people use their abilities for, you know, they manipulate you in a bad way to get what they want out of you and make you look like a fool. Where a very small percentage of narcissists that are good and healthy ones, ones actually do the same thing, but for a better cause. cause. You know, and it's also an outlook of, look of morality. So, what kind of outlook do you have? You know, if somebody, if somebody can manipulate you into doing something bad, bad that makes you look bad, bad. Or, what if somebody manipulated you without you knowing it? Same way, it's, it looks like bad, but now you're doing something bad. And that better thing could be, think literally improving your self esteem. It's, Narcissism is a cultivation of skills. Skill. That's basically what the, the what it means. You know. You know. It is. Let's say it's like an ability of like of having uh, super speed. You can either use super use for a good cause or bad cause. You know, save people, rob banks, bank. So that's what narcissist nar really is. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's crazy because. Those, those are things that we inherently have in our in our mental state, but we ignore because of like social media. Um, we don't pay pay attention to people as much as we used to, and we're not really looking at the fine details. So we don't have the ability, ability off the bat. You know, we have to you know, recall that ability because it was a very useful ability when it came to survival, survival, living longer, and just making sure that you're sure that life. And the people that are around you, you stay alive. You know that empathy comes about comes in in survival situations, but it doesn't have to be just survival. All right, so I'm going light enough on this exercise just to kind of get a feel for the movements, kind of like do like a, a secondary warm up, and we got it for like 110. And the purpose of this warm up for me right now is just to gauge how much strength I have, so I know how heavy I am or not how heavy I am, 
how heavy I can go. So that way I'm not going too heavy and just wasting energy that's not gonna provide me with much result. So hopefully this isn't too heavy. Yeah, we still want this to be effective. Just that warm up. That warm up was extremely effective. Unfortunately, I feel like a weak bitch because it's so light. <sighs> but you know what? That's just part of the game, you know? The only way we're gonna get stronger is actually by coming in here, doing this consistently. And uh, unfortunately feeling, feeling like a weak bass bitch from time to time. So, let's go. Ooh. Let's go 130. I'm gonna take a longer rest period uh, to make sure I'm fully accumulated for the next set since I'm going 20 pounds heavier because I have to do more than do more than four. Yeah, let's call it call it more than four. Only because I feel extremely exhausted in my chest already. When it comes to working out, it's just the waiting period for your next set because like what do you do for those? three to five minutes while you're resting, recovering for a great another set. Like absolutely nothing. Like if you don't know anybody at the gym, you're probably not talking to anybody. If you're me, you're probably talking to a camera or a few people that you know at the gym that are just not here. Actually, the friends that I made here, uh, I don't ever see them here again or as often as I used to. We got married, which sucks for him. Uh, I mean, he also started working the second fifth, which is, you know, when he'd be training. So it's not so much the marriage, but it's <laughs> him getting a second job or one job on the second shift. I'm not sure what happened to the other guy. He was in here beginning of summer, and then never saw him again. All right, I'm tired of waiting. Let's get this next set in. <sighs> So I just went up in weight and over did over double the amount of reps with heavier weight. It is heavier, right? Yeah, 130. I forget how much I did, either 10 or 11. I'm just gonna put 10, fuck it. Yeah, so we're good. That just shows you that like longer rest periods are, are better than just doing you know, a quick minute and a half or so, and then just doing another set. Like the longer the rest period, the better. Obviously don't make it too long. I like to keep it around like five minutes max, maybe eight, depending on like how intentful or near tense I'm going. Uh, just because you know it is, it is helping. And you know, every, ex every exercise should be taxing. So you should be like, damn, I need a, I need a break. And that's where I'm at right now. Although this last set was extremely easy, just kind of weird. So I'm up to 150 now. But back to the uh, healthy narcissistic uh, thing that I was talking about earlier about uh, Sir Ernest Henry uh, Shackleton. Depending on how you use your narcissistic powers is gonna dictate if you're gonna be a good one or a bad one. Most people choose bad because they have like some kind of ego or insecurity complex. Uh, I mean, who doesn't, you know, some people just have a larger insecurity and so they snap very easily. But for Shackleton over here, he actually um, makes fun of himself and uses his empathetic powers to read people and try to cheer him up for the overall goodness of the community not just himself, where a bad narcissist would just use you for the goodness of themselves, which ultimately isn't that good because they're just using you for something that doesn't contribute to anything other than just stroking that person's ego. Whereas a healthy narcissist, you can, your ego is not like the forefront of your mind, you know, it's the people around you. So you're manipulating them for a better 
Firmino result. So some of those pro powers or skills involved, knowing how to read people, making sure that you are keeping your composure and not losing your shit. And if you happen to lose your shit because you're hiding it and trying to get bottle it down and at some point it's gonna come out. Shortly after, you know, calm, calm down, make fun of yourself for fucking freaking out or whatever happened. You know, so nobody takes that part of you seriously and you shouldn't either. You know, you want people to see you as a calm and cool headed and almost confident person because you're level headed, you know? Even if you're not confident what you're doing, having the people around you not know that you're confident is gonna bring you down and just kinda, they're not gonna see you in the best of light. Low skills, you know, many people, like I said, and knowing um, when they're in a good mood, when they're in a bad mood, and looking for those details, you know? And also seeing how they interact with people in a group. And the last thing is, when you know somebody's gonna be negative, uh, talk to them. Find a way to cheer them up without them knowing that you're there to cheer them up because you can tell that they're not in a good mood. So that's what everybody, everybody should be doing. You know, building people up, you know, just in the smallest way possible. You, you never know how far a compliment can truly go, uh, especially here at the gym, you know. There's people that come in here day to day and they may not be seeing results on their own, but just saying, hey, you look pretty good. I haven't talked to you ever, but like I've seen much progress you made over the last like a couple months. You look great. That could probably like be a game changer for them. Because they probably aren't seeing results, and let's be honest, you know, when we first started out working out, you probably didn't see any results. Excuse me. And, you know, you probably still don't see results in the mirror, but somebody else is. So, yeah, I mean, just compliment people. If you see that they're struggling and trying really hard, just, they can definitely go a long way. And, you know, just kind of look out for people. You know who is in a good place and who's in a bad place by their actions and how they, uh, how their body language is. Oh, this is a lot heavier. Dude, let's go. I hate that it's getting dark. Well, you know, I mean, that's a, that happens every night, right? I hate that it's getting darker sooner. It is 1030 and two months ago, like there, there would still be some light out right now, you know? And now it's getting darker at like seven. By like eight, it's dark as fuck, you know? I don't like that. I want there to be more sun. I'm enjoying the fall weather, don't get me wrong. But it's just getting too dark too soon and I just, I just don't like it, you know? I feel like I need to go to the gym earlier than normal because it's getting dark. I'm like, God damn it, I'm gonna be late. I gotta go to the gym. But you know what? Uh, it's just a small detail. I mean, I can't do anything about the weather and the sun and whatever is making this change. Um, but I am slightly glad that it's getting colder because like, I'm enjoying the nice cool breeze. But when it's winter time and it's snowing, I am not enjoying that at all. I hate that. I really do. So, yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, today's workout was, you know, pretty solid. I am, I'm definitely feeling it in my triceps. Uh, I don't think I recorded the one exercise that I did. I was going to do another one, but the cables were taking up uh, and I also had to go buy groceries. So I was just, you know what, let me go buy some groceries. I had a very effective tricep machine workout. And honestly, the only thing that I did differently this time for this machine was I, as I changed my breathing pattern. So when I'm fully extended for this tricep exercise, I breathe out, I breathe in, which means I'm holding the contraction for, let's call it four to five seconds, you know, however long it takes me to breathe. I'm not like, and then going again, it's like, Well, not the second wind out, but you know, it's just hold it and then do another 
set or sorry another rep um you know honestly it, it changed the um it changed the game for me it changed the contraction it definitely gave it a better um stimulus i don't know why i mean i do know why it's because i'm holding the contraction like you know but also i'm going slowly as i can on the eccentric portion focusing on you know the stretch of the muscle and making sure it's like being worked on and felt you know i'm not just pumping reps out you know my goal my personal philosophy and what works for me is making sure that i'm having essentially time under tension i guess is the best way for you to put it but it's honestly not really that i mean i, I get it is that you know fuck it it is that because that's what it is uh, but i'm not really focusing on the time under tension i'm focusing on feeling the muscle working and being stretched out you know um i don't maybe maybe i'm complicating things too much but i'm just that's just what i'm doing you know i'm stretching the muscle out uh and then contracting it as much as i can to get it to work you know i'm feeling the muscle uh, but yeah the chest exercise oh man the incline chest press that honestly uh it hurt it honestly hurt by, by the last working set i was like damn i have an insane chest pump going on right now and then when i got to the uh pec deck i don't know why I, i'm just not enjoying the pec deck as much as i used to i don't know if i ever did but i do it because it's part of the program but i feel like i'm not getting much uh much use out of it and i don't want to do the cable flies just because like i feel like i'm doing not too, doing too much. I feel like my range of motion is going far back further than it needs to. Like my elbows are going past my my body. And when I got the the program, I was told, hey, don't let your elbows pass your shoulders. Um, and, then, you know, it is another conscious effort that I need to put into when doing that exercise if I decide to switch to the cables. But it's just a lot easier with the pec deck. But also, I'm not... I feel like I'm not getting much use out of the pec deck. You know, I'm, I'm not getting stronger per se on the pec deck. Uh, or maybe I'm just not going intense enough or maybe I'm not doing enough reps. I'm just, I feel like I need to switch up the stimulus and do something else just because, you know, it's, it was a great exercise for time being, but now I feel like I, not only am I bored with it, I don't feel like I'm progressing with it as well. And you know, I do do the rest pauses every once in a while. I'll do some drop sets. And when I add those in, those are great. But, you know, I'm, I need I need something different. And I think the cable flies are going to be that better alternative. Uh, but we'll see, you know, we'll see what happens. What's another alternative? You know, I'm not doing that on the bench. Bench flies, I, just, I never liked that. And, uh, hmm. Well, there is one other machine that I could switch it out for, uh, this angled chest press. Uh, it looks like it's very difficult and like heavy to do the movement, but it's actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be when I first did it. I was insane. I was like, there's no way I'm going to be able to move this weight. Like, not that I'm weak. Why well, am we actually very weak? But, you know, you have this perception because you don't know how it feels yet. And you could be, you know, very strong on one machine for a muscle group but another machine you're it's the same muscle and you're like doing half the amount of weight it's it's ridiculous and because you don't know you don't know right so that's just what was going on with my mindset when i first did it and first saw it but i got through it i did it the first night i didn't know how long they were gonna work there so like i thought all right 5 p.m <clears throat> call it a day cool you know like a normal work day so apparently all these these 16 17 boxes that are right here that's going to fill up this room right here, the floor, and it's disgusting, I know. It's also going to fill the kitchen floor, the living room floor, and the other bedroom floor. I honestly do not think that that's enough floor for all of these rooms. There's just no way. Like, I'm going to have to buy more. But that's, that's just the, the professional told me, hey, buy this amount, and that's it. We'll put it in for you. Uh, so that's what they're going to be doing today. They're going to be... I mean, this place is practically done. Uh, we paint, every single room is painted besides the bathroom. Uh, but since there's no towel or flooring going to the bathroom, we're not worrying about painting it just yet. 
gonna well the cabinets need painted but that's that's just other than that for that last bit of paint and um, this house is gonna be looking brand new I mean there's nothing else for me to do inside the house <laughs> outside though uh, that's a whole other story so hopefully by the end of the day this house looks brand new they're good to go and you know what it would be excited I'm gonna be happy because it's been like three or four months now nope they they went on they went on until eight like 30 almost nine they're like all right I'm gonna go home we're coming back to the next morning so I'm just gonna go home and sleep uh shower which I did not shower I, I think I just like slept I uh, woke up the next morning late came over here and uh what else happened yesterday was shot day you know i was supposed to take my medicine here's the downside of like missing a shot you feel like you're sick you feel like you're dying you don't feel like you have that much energy because your body doesn't have testosterone running through it to really give you energy to really recover and do whatever else that testosterone is doing in your body and uh, i just took it in about 20 to 30 minutes i should start feeling way better than i feel right now i also think i'm getting sick like my throat just feel sounds like it's getting deeper and thicker in the sense of like oh man you don't sound good you know like i <clears throat> i sound nasally my girlfriend is uh is currently sick she missed the last two days of work like yesterday and today because you know she just felt that bad so i was with her this past weekend because we went to a wedding here's the positive side about taking testosterone it helps with the immune system so because i'm taking a trt dosage of testosterone which means i'm normal per se it's helping with my immune system which means i'm going to recover faster from a sickness than my girlfriend which is a great positive thing and so since i just took my shot today i should be good to go by the end of the week you know it's gonna help flush it out say when, when you don't take it whether you miss it because you just like forgot you feel like crap and it sucks because you honestly feel like, damn, am I sick? Like, why am I so tired? Like, why don't I want to do anything? Like, why do I got to force myself to do stuff? And that's and the reason you have to force yourself is because you're probably out of testosterone. And, you know, that's one of the symptoms of low testosterone is feeling fatigued and unfocusable. Unfocusable? Is that even a word? I don't fucking know. Anyways, you feel like complete, complete crap is what I'm trying to say. But since I'm taking it, I should feel way better here shortly. It's such a beautiful day. But unfortunately, I have to go back to my house uh, because you're not done with the floor yet. You know, uh, I overslept. Uh, the guys were late yesterday, so hopefully they're late today because I am going to go stop by and get some food before I go there. Because yesterday I did not do that. I was starving. Uh, they have one room left. Hopefully they complete it. I thought they were going to be done the second day, which was yesterday. Uh, and they were not but i didn't know how long they were going to take i just that, that was just my personal assumption today i'm hoping they're going to be done today i'm hoping they're done sooner but given the last two days how they've gone i don't want to make that assumption and like think all right i'm going to make it to the gym and bring my gym clothes um so i'm i'm, I'm just not planning on working out today it, it's just it's not going to happen so it is what it is you know this house unfortunately does take priority at the moment because i'm losing money on the house i'm not making any money from going to the gym i'm not losing any money from going to the gym so it's fine the only thing i'm losing is on gains and looking a lot better than i already do because you know working out gives me more muscle which makes me look better um <clears throat> but that is an un unfortunately hold hoping that i can either get the house rented out very quickly or sell the house ideally i want to sell the house because i would make a profit on it and then i can use that money to buy a better house a bigger house and rent that out rent that new house out for more um but man man you know, it's just it's a lot of thinking a lot of planning and it's a lot of like strategic thinking of how you can use the money to make money i've lost a lot of money in this house so if i sell it and i'm up like 40 grand i'm really up like 20 grand because like that 20 grand is like i want to go pay all the fucking debt i owe on the money i've 
spent on fixing whatever needs to be fixed for this house. Thankfully that they actually completed the floor that day. Uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, I have to go back and finish everything else up, which sucks, but at least the floor is complete and I can actually come and go whenever I want because like, I don't have to wait there and sit there and watch um, work, which I probably didn't need to do in the, in, from the first place, but you know what? I had to let them in, so I might as well just stay. So it is what it is. Yeah, that's it for that. I can finally work out again. I can finally go to the gym and do my thing uh, and not be at my house for 12 hours a day for a whole week straight.